Sponsored by Nintendo. That's so cool. We have the seal of approval now, baby. No, we don't, Cuddles. With all the games you play, I thought we'd have it by now. Say, what are you playing anyways? Well, I'm cruising through some of my favorite third-party titles on the Nintendo Switch system. Ooh, that's cool. This one has a girl with a funny hat. How are you moving so quickly? Well, once you get into a rhythm and you start moving from platform to platform, things get a lot easier. I don't know what rhythm is. It's like it's like a way you you move like in succession, you maintain a certain flow and like it's like dancing. You do the yeah, you're not you're not getting it. Here, I'll just show you. The Nintendo Switch has all sorts of games with rhythm aspects, whether you're looking for the newest hotness or some old school style. So I'm confident we'll find something you enjoy, Cuddles. I would really like that, Mr. O'Brien. Can we start with the funny hat lady first? You want to start with a hat in time? Of course we can. A Hat in Time was one of those games that people kept telling me to play and I didn't understand why, but then when I downloaded it on my Nintendo Switch system and gave it a shot, it all came together once I saw everything that was being brought to the table. You play as Hat Kid as she's trying to restore the time pieces and get back home. And while she's doing that, she's traveling across all different levels, including like a giant windmill, there's a movie set, a general pirate area, which is actually what you're seeing here. The uniqueness of the 3D platforming makes it actually quite a challenge if you really want to, especially as you get later into the game where contracts come into play with all sorts of weird characters. So it encapsulates a whimsical and very spooky vibe at the same time. What I especially enjoy is the character design. So instead of going with just cute and cuddly creatures, you're having evil mustachioed foes including your main enemy of the game, which not to get into spoilers and stuff, but yeah. Just so, like your mustache? I have a goatee, okay? It's not a mustache, but yes, similar sort of vibe. And that unique factor really comes into play with the hats that you can equip in the game. So that way you can play a hat in time really however you want to. So whether it's brewing up magical spells or casting out ice or equipping the sprint hat to fly through levels in a flow and rhythm very nicely, you can play a hat in time however you want to. Ow! 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 Ugh, I keep smacking into walls. Kados, you've been having a really hard time with this one barrel level. This is like level two. Let let a professional gamer handle this for you, okay? Give me, give me one moment, please, okay? See, look, it's just simple as that, okay? Use the flow of the character and the power of the sprint hat to navigate through the flying barrels, even though I hit a couple of them, and defeat the boss of the level. You want me to go fast? and go slow at the same time? That doesn't make any sense. I know, there's a bit of a learning curve, but you're doing pretty good, all things considered. Oh, okay. While you were showing off, I found this game. It says it's a friendly RPG where nobody has to die. I don't like dying. Can we play this one? If you want a game that's just straight up creepy, but in a really good way, boy howdy is Undertale the game for you. You play as a small child that descends from somewhere and lands somewhere and defeats enemies or not for whatever reason you feel is appropriate. And I'm keeping all of this very vague because the story is very much up for your own interpretation. You can actually go through the entire game and not defeat any enemies at all. You can spare or have mercy on any enemy you encounter. You just have to have a little bit of charisma and finagle the situations. That sounds very cool. What's a rhythm like in this game? So when you encounter an enemy, you have to ebb and flow through battles because you play as a little heart and every attack seems to have its own sort of rhythm that you have to learn based on the character's personality. So sometimes when you're competing against two guard dogs, they'll fling all sorts of stuff at you. But once you find your way and you shimmy through all the attacks, you'll be just fine. So when I first played the game and did videos on it, I didn't know that was the case. I just played it totally blind and let my 
independent decisions guide me through the game. Some people go through the game and, and the very first time don't damage a single enemy because they want to have mercy on them, which is totally cool. I would encourage you to play the game however you want to, whatever way you feel is most enjoyable. I think I get it. I don't want to destroy these enemies though. They look weird and creepy, but in a cute way, like me. Yes, the enemies are like a cute, creepy combination, yeah. Say, Cuddles, um, I'm going to go for the night. I want you to play Undertale and get to the part where you're combating against the flower. Uh, let me know how that goes, but I will, uh, I'll, I'll catch up with you later, okay? Okay. Oh, good morning, Cuddles. How we doing? We need to try a new game. Yeah, you got to the part with the flower, didn't you? Yes, I got to the part with the flower. Yeah, I, uh, I figured that might happen. Well, luckily I have one final game that's sure to get us moving and it's not going to terrify you. Do you promise me, Mr. O'Brien? Of course I promise. It involves dancing. We're going to boogie. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, ooh, 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 ha, ooh. <laughs> All right, let's go. Come on, we, we're gonna we're gonna do this right. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about: rhythm, music, dancing, and just dance 2024. Whether you're at a party with friends or boogieing down on a Friday night, Just Dance is a game that gets you moving with a variety of different songs and, and ways that you can dance your heart away. There's a game that's actually about dancing. Why didn't you show me that earlier? That sounds amazing. I know, Cuddles. I just didn't think of it. I'm sorry. We can we can dance. We can we can boogie. We can uh, dance the night away. We can get funky. As you can see, I was in my inflatable penguin suit as Waddles O'Brien, and I was I was feeling it. People people were like not not like disappointed. Maybe like alarmed by my dance moves. They were like, "Wow, how did you?" They were surprised. Can we dance now? Yeah, 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 we, we can, we can do that. Put the wrist strap on, let's go! Ba, ah, cha, ooh, yeah, shake it like, ooh, 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 yeah, ooh. I'm really feeling that rhythm now. Why do your hips move like that? Break it down! Ba, 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 ba. Mr. O'Brien, how are you not breaking a sweat? Oh my goodness, my, I'm so exhausted. This is so fun, but my head, it's spinning. You need to allow your hips and the groove and the funkiness to take you and ascend you to a level that you haven't gotten to before because you'll find out something about yourself that you just hadn't yet. That reminds me, I gotta get back into Just Dance. It's been a minute since I've uh, gotten the people talking with my, with my shimmying and moves and... Cuddles, where are you going? Leave me alone. I'm tired. Well, it looks like somebody enjoyed themselves. You have fun with your nap. I'm going to keep playing. So that is rhythm. It's about finding a steady pace as you play. We also call that consistency. OK, I'm awake. Can we play again? Well, Cuddles, of course we can. Click the link in the description to check out the games I featured. And lots more on the Nintendo eShop. Thanks again for Nintendo for sponsoring today's video. Is Nintendo gonna get us Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door to play early? Gosh, Cuddles, I certainly hope so.